on this episode of Designing Spaces. Summer means more time outside. Make sure you have the tools to keep your outdoor space looking pristine. Transitioning to a home office environment? Tips for creating an efficient home workspace. Thinking about going solar? There's never been a better time to get off the grid. Looking to improve your credit score? It may be easier than you think. Keeping your roof healthy? How to check for warning signs that your roof may need repair. Time to design. Hey everybody, it's Ryan here. Now, as you can tell, summer is upon us. Now, during the spring, we've probably taken the time and cleaned the inside of our house, but now it's time to come out and enjoy the beautiful outdoors and our patios. But before we do that, we need to spruce it up and get some cleaning done. Now, as a contractor and a homeowner, my secret weapon is a pressure washer. They're super versatile. There's a lot of options out there. Whether you're looking to prep, to paint, clean your driveway, or just simply wash your car and spray off the cobwebs. There's an option out there for you so today I'm gonna cover all those for you to make sure you get the right machine for the job so the first option we want to talk about is electric versus gas now with gas power washers obviously you have a gas engine which is more maintenance as well as having to keep a fuel tank now unless you're a contractor and you're power washing every day or every week it's just not really a good option for homeowners now as a homeowner the electric options are a much better way to go. They're easy to store, you don't have to mess with the fuel, and they're really easy to use, but still packs quite a punch. So the next thing you wanna look at is PSI. What does that mean? pounds per square inch, which simply is the pressure coming out of the nozzle. There really is the right machine for the job, so kind of determine what you're gonna be using it for, and then you can decide how much PSI you need. Now, in generally, more PSI, they're a little bit more expensive. So make sure you get one that's right for you and fits your budget. Now the next thing you're gonna see is GPM or gallons per minute. Basically, if you're doing very large areas, you want a higher gallon per minute. But for most of our homeowner projects, it's really about the PSI. That is what is most important. Now today I have two really great options from Westinghouse. I have the EPX 2000 and 3000, and as you can see, they kind of look the same. Some cool features that they both have, they have these very easy rolling wheels, they're lockable, they're fairly small, so they're very easy to store in the garage. This one is about 12 inches tall, this one is 16 inches tall. Now the big difference is, is the PSI. Here on the 2000, we have 1500 PSI. This is really good for general cleanup. Are you washing a car, spraying off the cobwebs in your foyer, anything of that nature? This is really, really good. The wand has basically an all-in-one nozzle, which is good for all those general projects. It also has this attachment where you can put a cleaner or soap in this, put it on it, and it will help disperse the soap, and then you can continue with your cleaning. This is a really good light-duty machine for everyday cleaning. Now, with the 3000, we're going to step up. The big difference here is this wand. It has removable tips. You have a black one for soap, and then we have a 15 degree, 25 degree, and a pinpoint, which basically is the spray pattern. A pinpoint is just that. It's a very fine needle. You want to be careful using that. That's for like rock work and very durable surfaces. The other ones are for cleaning driveways and things like that. It's going to show you in the manual what each one is really, really good for. The other really cool thing about this machine here is it has a soap tank built right into it. Back here, you just open the spout, pour your soap or cleaner, whatever you're going to use and it will automatically disperse through the machine. Now these are power tools and of course safety is very important. There's some precautions that you should take. Wear some eyewear, perhaps some boots. Don't ever use them barefoot. Don't ever, ever point the nozzle at someone or an animal while you're spraying. The right tip for the right job so that you don't injure people or products. And then don't go on a ladder with these. If, if something needs to be pressure washed that's on the ladder, that's when you call in the professionals. Just use this safely and you'll have great results every time. 
no matter the surfaces that you plan on cleaning to get rid of those grimy dirt, mold, stains, and whether it be your deck, your siding, the side of your house, you can even wash your car. For all the information today on power washers, be sure to go to westinghouseoutdoorpower.com and as always, designingspaces.tv. Now more than ever, we are transitioning into remote work environments, and it's very important for businesses to set their employees up for success. I am constantly on the go, and I have to be able to collaborate with a bunch of different people, even though we're not in the same area. One company making this possible for so many businesses is ScanSource, a provider of complete technology and collaboration solutions. They sent me a ton of products to try out and I'm gonna learn all about them. I got all this really cool stuff here to set up and on Teams, I have Ansley Hoke, who's gonna kinda help go through all of it. Thanks so much, Ryan. So setting up a remote work environment can be a bit of a challenge. So the employees need the right set of technology solutions and that's really where you guys come in, right? ScanSource provides many different collaboration platforms for our partners and then those partners deliver those solutions to their end user customer, just like you. So let's start with Microsoft Teams. That's actually what we're using right now. Microsoft Teams has been a wonderful platform and it has video, voice, chatting, as well as document sharing that's as easy as a touch of a button. And also when you're looking at things, solutions in the collaboration space, Cisco DX80 all in one unit and this has easy switching between email, documents, and video calls. Application sharing is a breeze on this one and plenty of whiteboarding features as well. And then now, as we all know, working from home, noise can be an issue. We have the Jabra Engage 75 wireless headset. It's noise canceling, it's wireless, and it has nine hours of battery life so you can work the whole day without having to recharge. How can we make sure that we get the best quality out of our video chat calls? The first way to do it is with the Avaya Vantage True Multimedia Device. This has a great HD display that allows for point-to-point -point video calls. Now, if you're on the go, the Poly Eagle Eye Mini is the camera for you. It's got a more immersive video collaboration experience, more so than just your regular laptop cameras. Well, you know, this is lots of truly amazing stuff. I can't thank you enough, and I just can't wait to use it all. Oh, you just have fun with it, and I just can't wait for you to try out all of them. Thank you so much, Ryan. Interested in how to set up your employees for success? Head over to scansource.com slash designing spaces to find out more. When a storm hits, homeowners can now have power by using energy storage with solar panels. Homeowners are able to go off grid, showing how distributed power could speed future storm recovery. Ames Power Inc.'s mission is to provide a wide range of high quality green energy products for personal and commercial use. Ames Power developed from a, a power inverter and cell phone battery company into everything you need, solar panels, mounts, to go off-grid. We're more a do-it-yourself solar provider. Ames Power has become a one-stop shop for all customers' sustainable energy needs and researching the needs of the renewable energy markets. And he succeeded. The major benefit of using our products is we are completely off the grid and we're utilizing the sun's power to produce to our building. Solar panels are the way of the future, going away from fossil fuels, and that's what we focus on. We make our own power. So it can range from a really small RV type trailer uh, environment where maybe 2,000, 2,500 watts. And for a typical house, I'd say at least 30,000 watt system. Ames provides a complete design using all of our in-house products, whether it's mobile electricity for city buses or residential backup power in an emergency. 
you have your solar panels and that feeds into the actual charge controller. The charge controller regulates that power and charges the batteries and keeps them charged. The inverter discharges from the battery bank and produces the AC power needed for the whole entire building. So this is a PV combiner box that takes all the solar panels, all 270 solar panels that are wired in series parallel configuration. It goes through a set of breakers and lightning arresters. It combines them down into three lines that will feed into the house. And the main purpose is not just safety, but to reduce the amount of wires you're running long distance. Ames Power Inverters are used by some of the most prestigious organizations in the U.S., including NASA, the Department of Defense, and Princeton University. But our customer-focused approach means we can provide solutions to all industries. In this house, actually, we have power inverter, we have solar panels, we have batteries, we have a generator. So we pretty much, if any time we lose grid power, we can run almost seamless off-grid. Uh, so we do have the solar panels. It kind of helps offset our power bill um, because we're using solar instead of 100% grid. But then if we lose the grid, we still have backup power. So what we're looking at here is a power backup system. We got our solar panel coming into a switch that can turn the whole system off. This is a battery charger that is powered by the solar panels. Then the battery bank will power the power inverter and the power inverter will light up the lights in the house and a couple outlets. If the batteries ever are completely empty, we can use the city power to recharge them. I will never be out of power. My food won't spoil if for some reason we're out of power for a few days. Our refrigerator is always powered. We have lights, we have air conditioning, and really a lot of it is safety also. Large portions of Ames customers are based in Florida, Virgin Islands, Mexico, and Puerto Rico. However, the biggest trend in the energy space is to become independent from the grid by using green alternatives. And Ames products support the off-grid renewable platform, creating financial and environmental advantages to their customers around the world. When a storm hits, a lot of times, you may be stranded without power for, for weeks. Or, or worse, and if you have a small solar system even, you're able to run, whether it be a fan, a couple lights, or recharge your cell phone, it'll automatically recharge when the sun's out. You may use hydro or other ways too, but solar is just the most popular and, and easy to install. For more information, visit their website at aimscorp.net. Building credit, whether for the first time or after a setback, doesn't have to be complicated. In fact, if you're looking for a stepping stone to building good credit or maybe even raising your credit score, then look no further than the Open Sky Secured Credit Card. And here to share more is Linnea Cronmiller, Senior Vice President at Open Sky. Hi, Linnea. Thanks for having me, Olga. Oh, thanks for joining us because I think this is really important. So let's start with just basically the difficulties that people face when they don't have a credit history or maybe they have a low credit score. Sure, you know, whether you're just starting out and you have no credit history or you're starting over and have a low score, it can be costly and even difficult to obtain credit. Many of our customers tell us that the primary reason for wanting to build their credit history is to qualify for a home or an auto loan. Raising your credit score can even help you qualify for lower interest rates. And when renting an apartment or a home, you may be asked to put down a higher security deposit or even add a cosigner. So how does Open Sky Secured Visa Credit Card help build credit? Sure. So, you know, once you have our card, all you need to do is use the card for everyday purchases like groceries, streaming services, small DIY projects, or even your recurring utility bills. Then make your monthly payments on time and we will report your credit history each month to the three major credit reporting agencies. Our customers tell us that they've been able to raise their score in as little as six months. Well, that's fantastic and it sounds pretty easy. Now, how does the Open Sky Secured Credit Card actually work? It is pretty easy. When you apply for the Open Sky Secured Visa Card, we do not pull your credit and you can apply online or on your phone in just a few minutes. More than 75% of our applicants are approved. You choose your credit limit and then provide the required security deposit for the same amount. Your security deposit acts as collateral, just like the security deposit when renting an apartment. 
and it's fully refundable when you close your account. Once you get your card, we encourage you to enroll in the Open Sky mobile app where you can check your balance, make payments, and even set alerts to remind you when your payment is due. I was actually reading here that one of your customers recently posted that your card is a quote, second chance card. Can you explain how it really is making a difference for so many people? It really does make a difference. You know, many of our customers have told us that our card has given them a brand new start. They were able to reach their goal by using our secure card and following good credit habits. We've even had customers send us family photos in front of their new home. Oh, that's so sweet. It really helps us reinforce that we're doing the right thing. We even provide our customers with credit education and tips on our social media channel. You know, all these actions can help you build a good credit history and lay the groundwork for your future, whether you're starting out or you're starting over. I love it. All right, so for our viewers who'd like more information, and I know they're dying to know this, uh, where do they go? OpenSkyCC.com forward slash TV. Thank you so much for the information and your time, Linnea. Thank you for having me. You can also visit, by the way, our website, DesigningSpaces.tv. Hey everybody, Ryan here. All right, so now is the time of year that we're cleaning out our gutters, but it's also a really good time to assess the condition of your roof. You know, the roof is the most important part of your home and the number one in defense against the elements. Checking for problems now can mean the difference between repairing it or replacing it later, and we definitely don't wanna do that. Now, as a contractor, I recommend you leave the roof walking to the professionals. You can easily check things out from a ladder like I am now, or even a pair of binoculars down on the ground. Something to keep in mind, just because your roof isn't leaking does not mean you don't have a problem. Here are a few of the things you're gonna to wanna to take a look at. Now in your attic, after heavy rain, if you notice any wet spots or ice buildup in the winter, that is definitely a problem. Crack, curling, missing, or loose shingles or tiles, definitely a problem. Also, look for noticeable shingle decay, mold, or mildew growth. Visible stains on interior walls or ceilings is also a sure sign that there's something wrong with the roof. Today's tips are brought to you by ABC Supply Company, providing contractors with select exterior and interior products since 1982. And as always, find more information at designingspaces.tv. For more information on anything you've seen on today's show, or to be a part of the show, go to our website, designingspaces.tv.